everybody and welcome to Camping Corner. It's December and everybody's getting ready for the holidays. Yep. But even better yet, I was thinking about on my way in this morning, four months until camping season. The countdown. The countdown is on. Nice. So we had a lot of hits last week with the new format of Camping mm -hmm. Corner. So we're going to keep it going. So what's the first segment we've got? It is all about families that want to go camping, and we're going to take a look at some awesome bunkhouse floor plans. Awesome. Let's check them out. All right. Hello, everybody. So you asked for bunks, so here they are. Here's one of them. So this is our Passport 3400 QD. This thing only comes in at 7,700 pounds, which is amazing for how long it is. And the price on this one is 33125 this thing's got a lot going for it and wait until you check out the sleeping space. So let's go on inside. All right, guys. So once you walk in directly to your right hand side, you've got your bedroom. And these are some really nice pocket doors. So you can close them off, get a little bit more privacy that way. So it's not just a curtain. All right. So then you enter your living and your kitchen space. So you've got your nice fold out couch that is directly in front of your TV and it does come with the pivot furniture. So if you're not needing the extra couch space and you're just needing the dinette space, you can flip this over so then that way you can have a little bit of extra seating. But it does make a bed as well. Um, you've got your kitchen area, huge farm sink in here with a lot of cabinetry and then I'll let you take a peek at the bathroom before we check out this amazing bunk room. It's a pretty standard travel trailer bathroom, but when you come back here, there's nothing standard about this bunk room. So you've got four, that's right, four double over double bunks. It's insane. Technically, if you sleep two people per bunk, total in the, throughout this entire unit, you could sleep 14 people, which is crazy. So if your kids wanna bring a bunch of friends, bring them. You've got all kinds of storage. You've got your TV back here as well, so if it is raining and they need to stay in and watch TV, they can hang out back here for sure and not bother the adults. You do have your rear entry door, which is nice too. You know, if you're just needing an extra access point or if when you're traveling, you could store a couple bikes here as well while you're traveling. But this is the Passport 3400. It's got a lot of sleeping space. But Tony, I'm gonna pass it over to you and we're gonna, he's gonna show you the Cougar 34 TSB. Thanks, Mallory. Hey, right now I want you to take a look at this unit. Just over 8,500 pounds, under $39,000, automatic leveling jacks, great bunks, great floor space. Cougar, true four season coach, heated and enclosed underbelly, not just with the furnace, but it's got 12 volt heat pads, power tongue jack, power awning, Dual awnings on the side of the unit because of your campsite slide, they put an awning here. So almost the full side of this unit is under awning. Inside, you've got great opposing slides right here in the living area. So your sofa and your dinette on this side with your entertainment center, your fireplace, great refrigerator, all new interior for 2021 single lever faucet with a sprayer, so great food prep area. Tons of storage space over here as far as food pantry. Great bunk area back here with four bunks. The bunk on this side raises up because there's a sofa down underneath it. It's on gas struts. This makes a bed as well. Storage space back here for the kids stuff. Lots of storage space down underneath the bunk area. Absolutely killer master bedroom. Up here in front, you've got a king size bed. You've got wardrobe space on both sides, plus your front window and an entry into the bathroom. Porcelain toilet, neo angled glass door shower and lots of linen storage in here as well. Absolutely awesome unit, under $39,000, just over 8,500 pounds. Come take a look at this one, guys.
So a couple awesome uh, bunkhouse floor plans for the family to, to camp in in four months when the campground opens. Yep. I feel like Tony's going to keep reminding us that every episode now, which four is fine. Months. I'm yep. fine with it. You betcha. So next we pulled in some others. So our good friends Jake and Jess pulled them in to show us some rear living floor plans. And you get a lot of people that are, are looking at rear livings. They're probably more your empty nesters, don't have kids, or the kids are older, all they need is a pull-out couch, not necessarily the bunks. Um, but rear living can be a pretty popular one. Yeah, it's uh, for a lot of people, you know, their their time in, for some people, their time in the, the camper is only to sleep. Mm -hmm. But for other people, they actually are going to spend longer periods of time at the campgrounds. So... They're more, you know, they're, they have more opportunity to run into adverse weather. It also depends on the time of the season that they're camping. If they're doing early spring camping versus fall camping, they might find themselves inside the camper a little longer. So having a rear living room floor plan just gives you more space, more living area, and so on like that. Exactly. You betcha. So let's check those out. Yep. Got a Montana 3231 brand new floor plan. This thing is absolutely awesome. I'm excited to show it to you. Uh, it, Weights right at 12,700 pounds, and I don't know the price. We'll find out when we get inside. On the outside, you'll see we've got high gloss, uh, frameless windows, drop down storage, so you get this giant pass through, and you can actually see it all the way through. Hydraulic automatic leveling system, six point all the way around. It's got the new steps. I don't know if I mentioned double awning, and <clears throat> we step inside. Now that we're up. In the front of the camper, got a king bed, slide, two ACs, both of them are quiet cool. Get a picture of that Greer. <clears throat> I don't know if you can get a laundry hamper, place for a washer and dryer, tons of storage up here in the front, TV up here. As we walk to the back, this floor plan's got double sink, double vanity. All kinds of storage in the bathroom, three drawers down below, two cabinet doors on either side, giant fiberglass shower. I'll make my way down. Mm -mm. 3231 is really unique and it's got a place to hide all kinds of stuff. Two uh, vents abo up above. I don't know who came up with that, but it's pretty awesome. Cabinets on either side. Tons and tons of countertop space. Giant refrigerator. Even has an ice maker down below. <laughs> and uh, rear living actually has the, the sofa in the back. Why well, didn't get the fireplace on? Ooh, orange, perfect color. <laughs> big TV on a pullout so you can spin it around either way. Yep, sofa across the backs, big enough to lay down on. <sighs> Theater seat recliners, tons of windows. Love the little touch with the LED lights underneath the island reflecting off of that. Legless table. Here's the price. Retail is right at 85000 It's down here. We've got a discounted $17,376 to, to the sale price of $67,69. Thanks, Jake. This is another rear living floor plan. I am inside of the uh, showroom with the 328 Outback. Uh, this is an awesome coach. If you have not seen it in person, you really need to get in and check it out. This has uh, auto level. So, I mean, all your auto level is right here at the front, so you can kind of control that through here really, really easy. Uh, as you can see, it does have the Rhino Guard here, so that's really going to help protect against those rocks and stuff bouncing up and not do any damage. Uh, painted front cap here. Uh, when you walk through here, you're going to see that it has a great big pull-out tray, so it's easier access to there. Um, and then another thing when you're walking across this coach is that you can tell that it is fiberglass sided. Um, has two awnings, outside speakers, uh, nice LED lights on the side, great big grab handle, a nice set of solid steps. So this, this unit's really set up outside to have a great big uh, campsite. 
So if you go ahead and walk in here, uh, the first thing that you're going to see is just, it's really, really nicely lit up. Uh, you have your booth here, that, uh, that will turn into a bed if you need that. And then you got these really awesome, comfortable uh, recliners straight across from the TV and the fireplace. So you have a bunch of storage up here. And then you have this bed in case you have some friends over that uh, drink a little bit too much hot chocolate. Um, you got some storage down here, but again, this just has a lot, a lot of storage and that's always gonna be important. Now you got some up here, you got some down there. So again, the electric fireplace is really nice. You got a ton of counter space on this coach too. So you got your nice island with a really nice faucet. You have uh, your stove and you even have a window back here so you don't have to just stare at the wall when you're cooking. One of the coolest things about this coach is, well, if I can open these doors, that they do have locks so they're not gonna open when you're going down the road. But you got two fridges inside of this thing so you're not gonna have to make any trips to the store while you're out on your camping trips. Really easy accessible uh, microwave here and again, Storage, storage, and more storage. Nice little kind of coffee bar there. But uh, go ahead and uh, follow me back and we'll take a look at this bathroom. So, Greer, if you can get in there, let me squeeze by here. And as you can see, it is passed through. I'll come through this way. Got some storage inside of here. And then a great big shower. So even you tall guys will be able to fit in here, being that it does have a skylight. Gur, if you want to come in here, take a look at the bedroom. So as you can see, there is a bed slide in here, which gives it a ton of room. You got enough room to walk around, to change, and really have a comfortable master bedroom. King size bed. Got uh, some more storage in here. You do have TV hookup. And this does have a washer dryer prep already. So those long trips, this camper is really set up for you to get out, you know, spend a lot of time outside, and uh, really, really enjoy it. Now you got uh, another closet in here. One of the other things about here, if you'll step out uh, back into the front area, rear, is it doesn't have any carpet. Um, so it's going to be easier to clean, that kind of stuff. But this is the Outback 328. Uh, you know, I urge you guys to come in, check a, take a look for yourself. It's a beautiful coach. We'll see you then. Thank you. Another awesome segment. A couple of our... Uh, you know, co-workers that are outside of the talent pool, you know, besides Mallory and I, uh, one of them may be, in fact, outside the gene pool. Comment. Which one do you think that one is? <laughs> I want to know. I'm curious. Add comments below. Comment below. <laughs> <laughs> so our next segment, again, outside the talent pool. Yes. Uh, two of the most comical people that we work with. Yes. Um, Mr. John Stout mm -hmm. and Ryan Zikafus. Yep, so they are going to be showing us campers under 7,000 pounds, which is awesome because we have gotten requests for half ton towables, so obviously these two would fit that court category, but next week we are planning to do more half ton towables for you. So we haven't forgotten about you, we will do it. Um, but yeah, our good friends, John and Ryan, and John, who influences a lot of dad jokes around here, <laughs> we'll kick it off to them. Yeah. You know the funny thing, have you noticed that of course, Ryan and John are really good friends. Have you noticed side by side they look like the number 10? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, Tony. <laughs> All right, on that note, let's check out those videos. <laughs> All right, guys, we got another camper under 7,000 pounds. This is the 2021 Passport 219 BH. This unit comes in weighing at 4,700 pounds even and sells for $20,999. Um, it is a small bunkhouse coach. Just take a uh, look at a few things on the outside here. 
One thing you'll notice at the back of the coach, it does have an outdoor kitchen. So you've got a two cooktop, uh, two cooktop burners here in your mini fridge. Hard to see, but you do have some storage uh, above the burners there as well. Got your outside speakers, your big awning with the LED light strip that has a that is a power awning. Um, but let's come on inside and check this one out. So right when you walk in, you'll notice that you have a couch up here. This couch does lay flat. And there is a Murphy bed that comes down with a full queen size bed. It's an actual mattress. It's not one of those weird flimsy things. Um, you've got storage on each side of the bed couch combo here. That leads you right into your kitchen area. You've got your sprayer uh, integrated into your faucet with your big farm style stainless steel undermount sink. Uh, storage above right into your microwave and then your oven stove. And then you get right here to your six cubic foot refrigerator with freezer. It leads you right over here to a nice good sized pantry area. And then you have uh, drawers below there as well if you need extra storage. Right into your bathroom, you've got medicine cabinet in there, uh, your foot flush toilet, and then your uh, shower with the uh, tub surround. Two double over double uh, bunks here. Those are rated for 300 pounds, so even I can lay on them. That's great. Uh, you got your entertainment, your TV right here, right above your thermostat. And then that leads you right back into your dinette. This, of course, turns into a bed as well. Uh, and like I said, this is under 7,000 pounds, and we're going to pass it over to my favorite uh, co-worker, John Stout. Thanks, Ryan. Hey, we're talking about trailers under 7,000 pounds. This is another one. This is the Hideout 27 RLS. Fantastic floor plan. Has double door entry. You have outside speakers, full electric awning with the LED light bank. They even light up your speakers, so a little more entertaining at night. Uh, you do have easy lube axles on here, so it's easy to maintain this coach as well with electric stabilizers front, rear, with an electric hitch pin as well. So as you can see, we haven't even walked inside yet and the trailer is loaded. We do have the solid steps and we'll go inside and take a peek. <clears throat> the nice thing about this floor plan is you have sofa, two recliners and booth. So you've got all the comforts of home. All LED lighting you have, and I know we're talking about a trailer under 7,000 pounds, but you're picking all up th this all up with fireplace with an AM FM stereo with Bluetooth capabilities. So Spotify, Pandora, whatever you choose to listen to. Here's a really unique thing about this floor plan. Everybody complains about not enough pantry storage. Look at this full pantry behind your TV and fireplace with even a place to put your trash can. You even have hanging hooks as well. As I say, this trailer has virtually everything. You have a nice big, 10 cubic foot refrigerator freezer and then next to that look at all this kitchen counter space you have oven you have three burner range you have microwave back backlit cabinetry so storage you've got a ton and now the nice thing about this this is a walkthrough master bath so you have sink you have porcelain toilet you have shower you have a place to put your towels linens and then you even have a wood medicine cabinet and storage under the sink but the neat thing about this you have a hardwood door to close the bedroom off if you do have guests coming with you they can use the bathroom without disturbing you and then you can also close the other door and turn it into a master bath to get ready to go out to dinner whatever you want to do behind me here is a full queen bed you have shirt closets on each side you even they've even hideouts even gone as far to give you a laundry chute and then this bed raises up for storage on gas struts and the unique thing about this you see the little mesh bag this even has central vacuum cleaner all the comforts of home remember this trailer is under 7,000 pounds at uh, around 6,700 pounds and this trailer comes in believe it or not at 239 so I highly recommend coming and see us take a look and have a great day all right so we're getting close to Christmas <laughs> So in about, let's see, what Christmas is in how many days? Today's the 11th, so like 
nine, uh, what, tw nine days? Yeah, yeah, right. no, I don't know. What? No. <laughs> no. Well, listen, Christmas is on the 25th, and it's the 11th, like so 11 days. minus 25, yeah. 14 days. 14 days. 14 days. <laughs> which, which, means, which means it is uh, 12 days until official men's shopping for their spouse, <laughs> right. their significant other season starts. So we're, so Sean... Okay, I forgot. Did he already do a video? Like now I'm sidetracked. <laughs> All right, let's just, let's do this. Oh no, we're rolling. This is great. <laughs> Sean did shoot a video already. <laughs> Are we showing it? <laughs> yes, we're gonna show it, Mallory. Math is hard. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully Sean does a way better job than me and Tony of showing you these awesome gift ideas. There goes our daytime Emmy. Yeah. Hey guys, Sean from the parts spot here at Walnut Ridge, and it's the most wonderful time of the year. So if you're like me, you haven't done any shopping for Christmas yet, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys a couple ideas from the store for good gifts for the campers in your life. First thing is gonna be the Uni wood fire oven. So I'm sure, as you know, if you have a camper, the oven in that thing is not very big, so this will give you extra oven space. It is only $195, and what I love about this is that the chimney is removable and the legs are foldable. So it makes storage super easy if you wanna put it outside in your storage compartment, or if you even have a cabinet big enough, you can store it in there. There is a cover bag, a carrier bag, that you can buy for it if you wanna tote it around, if you're gonna be using it a lot. And then it runs off wood pellets and charcoal. And if you wanted to, you could buy the gas burner for it, making it to where it could run off LP. This thing gets up to 500 degrees Celsius, which is about 930 degrees Fahrenheit. So once it is up to temperature, it cooks food extremely fast. It can cook a pizza in about 60 seconds from start to finish once it's heated up. So this is super cool, $195 and I have quite a few. The next item I'm gonna talk about is just gonna help you unhook and hook up a little bit easier. This is the LCI powered tongue jack. So a lot of campers out there have the manual jacks on them where you do have to crank and it'll either raise the trailer or lower the trailer for hooking up. This makes it super simple. It has a retract and an extend button. That way it'll raise or lower the jack and then it does have a light so you are able to see what you're doing if it is nighttime and you end up unhooking. This is rated at 3,500 pounds. So basically any travel trailer, it's not gonna have any problem lifting. And the mount is exactly the same as most manual jacks. So it's super simple to install. You take out three bolts, drop three new bolts in, run two wires and you're good to go. So this is on sale for $149. Another product I want to talk about is the Anderson Ultimate Gear. So if you've been in the store before, you know I stock a lot of Anderson's products. That's because I believe in them as a company and they are made 100% in the USA. So this is a kit that comes with more of their popular items. It does come with a rapid jack. So that would be for if you did have a flat and you needed to raise one axle off the ground, you drive up onto it with the other and that gives you access to get that tire off, put your spare on. You do also get two camper levels that come with the tough chop. So those being, you only have to use one on each axle, you drive up on it, and then you chalk it once the trailer's level. It makes leveling it out a little bit easier. You do get a couple extra wheel chocks. You get four tough pads, which those go underneath your jacks. So if you are on gravel or dirt, it'll help you level out. And then you do get a clean step. This goes at the bottom of your steps just to wipe your feet off before you go in. It does come in a nice carrying bag, so you can throw it all in your storage, get it out when you need it. And this is on sale for $179. And the final item I want to talk about today is my X-Jock. So this is a double pack. I have them on sale for $74.99. And this has probably been my most popular item this year. So you have your regular wheel chocks that you kick underneath the tire. Those do well. These lock in between the tires and you ratch them. So it's putting pressure on the tires, keeping them from shifting. So a lot of the bounce in the floor that you feel normally, this helps get rid of a lot of that. And a lot of people have taken advantage of these this year. So this is something you can always order from the store. Or if you wanted to come in and get, you can do that. As you can see, I have a lot. If you guys have any questions about other gift ideas feel free to call in or come in and see us all right well now that we're crying because we're laughing so hard well i am i don't know about Tony. we hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and we'll see you next week yeah thanks for tuning in for possibly the worst episode ever thanks guys <laughs> Ah! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>